Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop, Get Billy the Kid. It's by Capper Games, made by Randall Thompson. In the game Get Billy the Kid, you'll be playing from four to eight players, and it takes about 20 minutes or so to play, and it's for ages, I would say 10 and up. In the game Get Billy the Kid, you're basically gonna be playing as either Get, or hit the getting, Billy the Kid, or you'll be playing as one of the lawmen trying to track him down. There's also an accomplice or accomplices that you can play with, and uh, you're trying to either escape as the kid or capture him or kill him. You can also eliminate other players as well. You'll be taking turns by simply uh, drawing cards and discarding a card, and the card that you discard is going to then ensue an action, depending on if, it, you, if it's useful for you or not, until seven rounds are over and the kid can escape. But throughout that time, you'll also be trying to arrest Billy the Kid. If you can arrest him by figuring out who he is, you'll then be able to basically have this little hunt go on. There's two separate portions of the game kind of thing. And if you try and hunt him down, he'll be trying to escape you, use disguises, go into shootouts and other things. If you can capture him before the seventh turn is up, you're going to win. However, if he escapes on the seventh turn with a gold in his hand, he's going to win. The other way to work it out is by the end of the game, if all of the lawmen have been defeated, Billy the Kid is going to win, or if Billy the Kid gets shot and dies, then the lawmen will win as well. There's an also an additional aspect of the game that makes Doc Holliday turn into a bad guy if he gets bribed enough and he wants to, as well as there could be accomplices like, for instance, Martha, Martha Garcia, who is able to also be an accomplice to Billy the Kid, where she can win on her own, or he can win on his own, all working together in the game, get Billy the Kid. Anyway, let's go ahead and I'll show you what comes in the game and then how to play it. So here are all the components for Get Billy the Kid. And as you can see, quite a few little things here. First of all, there is a deck of cards. The deck of cards is gonna facilitate all of these things that you see here. I've just laid them out to talk about them. Uh, there are about nine or 10 different cards, which we'll go through. You're also gonna get player boards here. And this is going to basically let you have this guess who aspect of the game where you're trying to figure out who Billy the Kid is by asking people questions. So you'll have these as a reminder. Every player is gonna get seven cards in their hand and they're gonna choose a player. It'll be selected at random, depending on the number of players in the game. If you're playing a four player game, you're going to include these four. If you're playing with a five, you'll include Martha who is on Billy's side. And with a uh, six, seven and eight, it'll be shown in the Kickstarter as to what players are going to be added and how they're added as well. The different players in the game are, of course, Martha Garcia and Billy the Kid, but you're also going to be getting other famous Westerners like Doc Holliday, Wide Earp, and Pat Garrett, three other really cool guys. Reminds me of Tombstone the movie. I love Westerns and I love that movie. Um, so, but that is pretty much what you're going to be getting in the game, and including a first player marker and time tokens, because after the seventh round, if Billy the Kid is not caught and has a bag of gold in his hand, then he is going to escape, and that'll mean he wins the game. So this is a good way to keep track of that. So let's talk about the deck of playing cards. Uh, when you have a more than five players, you'll have to add uh, plus five, all the cards that say plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight, they'll be added to the deck. Otherwise, you'll take them out depending on how many numbers of players you have in the game. Uh, these are all the different types of cards. The first ones over here, as you can see, are all the ones with pictures on them. Those are the escape cards in which Billy will be trying to play when he's trying, when people are trying to arrest him. And uh, it'll be used during a confrontation. And when he plays one of those cards, if anybody else that is a lawman has a copy of that card, Billy will not escape. If anybody doesn't have one of those cards, he will escape and it'll be doing a back and forth. Billy can play any of the cards in his arsenal to try and escape, and he has a couple things he can choose to do, such as these escape cards or a disguise. There's only a couple of these in the deck, maybe even just one. If he plays that, he escapes. He also has an option for a pistol, Pistols are basically one shot. He'll play a pistol, and then the lawman he played it on is going to have to play a pistol back, and so on and so forth. If it's a tie, he escapes. If he has more pistols, the lawman is eliminated. And if he has less pistols, the lawman eliminates Billy the Kid, and the lawmans win. Uh, you could also choose to play Dynamite as Billy the Kid, and if you do that, all lawmen will lose a turn, thusly making it slightly easier for Billy to escape. Uh, the last thing he can choose to do is, when he is revealed, he has this shotgun, which will also count as a shot. 
if it is uh, if, if, it, if wanting to be used as one. Otherwise, it has a unique ability before that, which is it can look at a player's hand. So when you draw a card and discard a card, you can play this card face, down, face up in the discard pile and thusly look at any player's hand that you'd like. Uh, this card here is the arrest card. You play this card on somebody after the third round, and if they're Billy the Kid, you're going to try to arrest him and a confrontation will begin. If it is not Billy the Kid, you'll have to say so, be honest, then you and that player will lose a turn, making it easier for Billy, Billy to escape. So be careful who you arrest. You're also going to get gold cards. These cards can be utilized for certain things, such as during the game, there's going to be a shop in which you can go ahead and purchase items from, depending on if you're Billy or if you're a lawman. Lawmans can purchase arrest cards. Billy can purchase anything. And if a gold is in the market, then Billy can use uh, a weapon to purchase a gold card, which is what he needs in order to escape, right? Binoculars, when you discard them, will let you take a card at random from a player's hand and then give them a card from your hand of your choice. And of course, the last but not least is the question card, which utilizes these over here. Question cards will allow you to ask a yes or no question to a player regarding their hat, their eyes, their hair color, or their suit. And in which case you can ask regarding these pictures here. Does your character have a blue hat? Does your character have blue eyes? Does your character uh, have a tan shirt or something like that? If you're Billy the Kid, you can lie. You don't ever have to tell the truth as Billy. But if you're a lawman, you must always answer, answer truthfully. That way you can kind of get an idea of who is who and uh, try and arrest the correct person in the game. It's pretty much all of the cards you're going to be getting in the game and how they function along with everything you get in the game. Get Billy the Kid. All right, let's show you around or so. So here we have a setup for four players for Get Billy the Kid. And as you can see, everybody has their player board. Everybody has a randomly given character card. And when you're playing with four players, you're not going to include, include her, Martha Garcia. So only one person is bad, Billy, and the rest are good. You're also gonna get your seven cards here. And I don't have backs for these, but just remember that these are the player boards or player cards. And these are the cards you have in your hand, along with this deck being the cards that will be drawn from and be discarded over here. This is the shop over here with two cards that start, which you'll be able to utilize once everybody is revealed. And then over here is the first player marker for this guy here and the number of rounds it is currently at. So right now it is at round one and he's the starting player. To begin the turn, you're going to be drawing a card from the deck here and utilizing any that you like. And you get to look at your character, remember that. So he is Pat, he is a good guy, and he has to figure out what these players are. So maybe it would be a good choice to discard a card, which is the next thing you have to do. He's gonna go ahead and uh, let's discard this question card of the discard pile. In which case, he can then ask a question to any of these players here. He'll ask the next player, uh, what color is your hat? And then this player will uh, go ahead and look at his card and make sure that he knows what he is. And if he's Billy, he's going to lie. And if he's not Billy, he's going to tell the truth. Or sorry, what color is your hat? Is your hat blue is what he has to ask. Not, it has to be a yes or no question. So in which case, uh, he goes, okay, no, my hat is not blue. Thusly giving him information, provided he's not lying right? Uh, after that, he is done. He always is going to have his seven cards in hand, and the next player is going to get to go. And of course, this player was white up, so he was telling the truth. His hat is indeed not blue. Now he's going to go ahead and draw his card for his turn, and he can go ahead and play. Now, these arrests are not useful until after the third round. And this gun is probably not useful as well. He has to figure out who Billy the Kid is first. He's got gold, which he can go ahead and buy a rest from the here if he needs to when people are revealed. And then he's got these two options here, a question card basically, and this shotgun. So he'll go ahead and discard this shotgun, and then he can go ahead and check out this player's hand. So we get to look at this player's hand, and then he'll go ahead and set it down, and it's now the next player's turn. The next player is then gonna be like, okay, I'm Doc Holliday, and uh, I am gonna look at my cards and decide what I wanna do by drawing a card first. I've got the disguise here, which is good. We do not want Billy to have that card. So indeed, maybe I will go ahead and just discard this card from my hand, making sure that Billy's not gonna get his hands on it. And after that, uh, this doesn't do anything for him specifically because A, nobody's revealed. Uh, even if he was uh, Billy the Kid, he's not revealed, so it doesn't do anything. And B, he's actually a lawman, so the hat doesn't do any good for him. Now the next turn is Billy's, and Billy, of course, wants to have at least one gold card in his hand. So he's gonna draw a card, and now he's probably gonna look for a gold card. Having weapons in your hand is good as Billy, and also having um, escape cards like this one here is good. So he's gonna go ahead and uh, use a shotgun. He's gonna discard that. That way it'll let him look at somebody else's hand to try and figure out who has gold. So that way, whenever he gets a pair of binoculars, 
he can take a card at random from their hand and get that gold card. So this player has gold. We, Billy, Billy no, no, now knows that, so that's going to help him later. Now it's the next. It's the first player's turn again. We'll add a time counter, and that is the second round. And the game will continue. Uh, so let's go ahead and just say that round ex exited, and then we're at now the fourth round. So all, f all, all three rounds are done. That's on the fourth round, which means you can start trying to arrest players. So uh, he knows a lot of information about these guys based on the question marks he may or may not have played. He can go ahead if he wants to to arrest somebody. So if he does go ahead and choose to, uh, he draws his card and then he goes and chooses to arrest somebody. He can say, based on my information, I think that he is Billy the Kid. And if he is Billy the Kid, he has to reveal himself. If he's not, both players will lose a turn, making it just them two until the next round. Um, uh, of course, and the other problem is if it is Billy the Kid, he'll have to reveal himself. When Billy reveals, everybody else reveals in the game. And uh, then the interesting part starts happening. So because he got arrested, he is going to have to try to escape now. So he can play an escape card. When he plays an escape card, any of the lawmen can choose to play the same type of escape card from their hand if they have one. And in this case, nobody has the escape card that Billy played, so Billy is going to get away. In the next turn, it's the next player who's going to go ahead and draw their card and uh, once again try and arrest Billy the Kid. And Billy will also, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, he'll always drop to seven. Every confrontation, everybody's going to draw back up to seven cards in their hand, will try and play something else now because he's out of escape cards. So he has these, these question marks. I don't know anything. So he's like, okay, I got to survive. So I'm going to attack you. So I'll play pistol. This player will then have the response to play a pistol back. And then Billy can go ahead and play her pistol back. And then this player will hopefully have another one. He doesn't. But if he did, he'd play one. He doesn't. So Billy has two and he has one. Thusly, Billy the Kid has now eliminated Wyatt Earp from the game. This player has been removed thanks to Billy the Kid's amount of weaponry in hand. So good for you, Billy. End of the confrontation. He's only got five cards. So he's going to go ahead and draw up to seven. Ah, he got his gold that he needed and he got an escape card. Now it is Doc's turn. So Doc is going to go ahead and draw his card. Does he have a arrest token? He does. He's going to try and play that arrest on Billy. And once again, Billy is going to look at his hand. He's like, okay, well, I'll try and use this escape card. So that is a train. Does anybody have a train in their hand? No and no. Billy's going to get to escape once again. Now it's Billy's turn, and the game is going to continue like that. If he can eliminate these players, Billy will win. If they can eliminate him with guns, he, uh, he, uh, they will win. If by the seventh round, Billy has uh, managed to not die and also have a gold in his hand, he is going to win the game. And uh, also, when everybody is revealed, he will also have this option to where he can discard a gold from his hand to take any card here, or let's say that there was a gold here and he didn't have one on his turn. He could choose to trade a, uh, to put to do a gun and uh, and get this card instead. That uh, and we're always going to refill after every round. We're refilling this uh, track, this uh, shop here, I should say. So that's a good way for Billy to do so. Uh, also, lawmen are able to get arrest cards from here if they spend a gold. So for instance, let's say that there was a rest card in here instead of this donkey. And uh, uh, let's say that it was, uh, was it Pat Garrett's turn? Pat can discard this gold here and take an arrest card to utilize on Billy the Kid. So that is another way that the lawmen can utilize this, this bank here. But for the most part, that's pretty much how you play the game, get Billy the Kid. I'll give you a couple, uh, couple, you know, unique caveats to the game when we come up above, and I'll tell you what I think about it. All right, so a couple caveats to the game, get Billy the Kid. And the first one is when you defeat a player that is a lawman, you're one of the uh, outlaws, you'll be able to take cards from their hand first to refill up to your hand size before you pilt pill for the deck, drawing cards from the deck. If you don't like those cards, you can simply draw from the deck, but you'll have that option, which gives you a little bit more creative leeway in order to avoid the law. Uh, in addition to that, whenever you're playing with Doc Holiday and it is not a five player game, you can simply, uh, when you're revealed as an outlaw, you can play a gold to a pool. And that pool is separate from the bank and the discard pile. Whenever it's Doc's turn, Doc can select to uh, take that bribe and become an outlaw. Of course, you can try and debate as to whether or not he should do that, begging him not to if you're the lawman or if you're the outlaw, say, come on, join us. We're giving you a bunch of money. And uh, Doc has that option. Now, in a five player game it works the same way but only if there's only one outlaw available in the game if there's two then he's not allowed to switch but once there's only one he'll have that option to switch for the bribe overall that's 
pretty much how you play the game. I imagine it's similar to the game Get Adler, which I've actually not played, but I've seen and heard good things about. So let's talk about my review of the game. First of all, this is a Western theme, and I like Western themes. I enjoy the movie Tombstone, and this one has a lot of feeling toward the, towards that movie. I mean, minus the whole Billy the Kid, I suppose. But it's got Doc Holliday and Wyatt Earp, two of my favorite Westerners, and uh, quite a little bit of theme in this game as well. All the cards do something interesting. They function different ways during different portions of the game. You have the deduction-based basic based aspect of the game, in which Billy is trying his best to lie to you to make sure that you don't figure out it's him, so, you don't, so that you're going to arrest the players that are actually not Billy, which is what he wants, so that you all lose turns, thusly making it easy for him to escape. And then if you do manage to uh, arrest Billy the Kid, which you probably will at some point, then he's going to try and escape with the best of his abilities. And he's got quite a few little tricks up his sleeve, whether it's trying to defeat lawmen, and he's usually better than most lawmen because he's got a lot of things in his arsenal. Uh, or he can try and escape with multiple different types of escape cards. And you're all working together to fight against him or against him and his uh, partner or accomplice. And then of course there's two really good ones which are the dynamite card and then the disguise, but there's not very many of those and they do some really powerful things. Also the nice little addition of the shop is pretty cool. I like the fact that even the lawmen are able to pick arrest cards up because when you're a lawman you need those arrest cards if you don't have them it's nice to actually have the availability in the shop to get them and as billy trading in those extra golds that you don't need because you only need one at the end of the game is nice to dump off in order to pull cards from the shop that will benefit you other than just trying to chance it with the deck and drawing a question mark card which is not needed during that escape phase of the game all in all it's a really fun game it's got some cool artwork it's got some cool theme there's a little bit of comedic value as far as the fact that you can escape on a donkey as Billy the Kid. And then of course there's trains and saddleback horses and all that kind of stuff where you're trying to evade the law. And all the players working together, or mostly, because Doc Holliday has an itch for the gold. So really it's about trying to maintain order as best as you can with him uh, when you're playing with that variant. You don't have to use that if you don't want to. And in addition, when you're playing with Martha, even if Billy gets captured, she's actually all on her own and she can try and escape all by her lonesome, which is a really cool little aspect as well to the game. Overall, it's a fun game. I can't say much for Adler, I haven't played it, so I don't know how it relates to this, if it's too similar or not, if the, the rules are indeed different in any way, but uh, this game for me is fun. We played it, it reminds us kind of a little bit of a mixture between Resistance and Bang, there's some kind of like traitory aspect to it. There's a little bit of take that, there's a little bit of teamwork, and there's a little bit of deception all rolled into one. It's a simple little card game, but it offers a lot. I enjoy it, I definitely think you should check it out. A uh, couple of things that maybe you may or may not like about this game is first of all, there's the two phases of the game. Uh, if you like one portion, you may not like the other. Uh, which I guess could happen if you're looking for a specific total deduction game. This is not fully deduction, it's only partly because after you deduce, then you have to do that other phase, and vice versa. If you're looking for a take that style game, and you have this deduction aspect, maybe that portion might not be for you. For me, I like the combination of both of them. Uh, and I guess another thing too is not having the cards in your hand that you need at a specific time. That can be kind of irritating or frustrating. There was a little bit of luck involved in this game as to what cards you draw from the deck, but luckily the store does give you a little bit more potential as to what you can get and how you can get it. And of course, Billy the Kid is actually a formidable foe. He's not as easy to capture as you may think based on the fact that he has a lot to, uh, to use on his turn compared to some of the lawmakers, I suppose. Fun game. I really enjoy it. I hope you guys take a look at it down below in the description. If you think it's for you on Kickstarter, get Billy the Kid. I'm certain I will. Thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. If you like this video, go ahead and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It all does help, and we do greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to take a look at Get Billy the Kid down below in the description. I only have five players to this game. I've got, you know, Billy and... Uh, and Doc and all of them, but there are more characters. It plays up to eight players. I just don't have them, so I'm interested to see what they're going to be adding to the game, maybe what stretch goals they'll be including. It's a fun, quick little game, and I really enjoy the little gateway experience uh, that we've gotten to play with our new camera gal. She's gotten to play a lot of these new games for her, and it's been a fresh, unique little aspect to her, seeing her play a, a Euro, and then a deduction game, and then a take that game, and the difference between them. It's, I don't know, it's really nice to see that, and this was kind of a fun way to get her into a deduction based game so a fun little game nonetheless if you liked get adler i imagine this game is going to be fun for you as well provided i guess it's not just a complete reskin which i like i said i don't know if it is or not um also go ahead and uh take a look at our website unfilteredgamer.com we get tons of blog posts giveaways kickstarter lists and more as well
well as taking a look at our friends everythingboardgames.com and the Giveaway Geek. Two great sites to give away a ton of games. We're giving away Wingspan, or if we're not anymore, we're giving away probably something else. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to getting Billy the Kid with you next time.